Hey guys, it's J. Stephen Roberts from Real Crusades History. I wanted to do just a quick little video to let all of you know that I am in fact going to be releasing a book soon. Um, I have written a novel of historical fiction set during the Crusades, and I completed it about a year ago. I gave it to my editor. She worked on it for quite a few months, and she gave it back to me. I briefly went over it again, sent it back to her, and she's about to send it back to me in the final version. Um, the deadline is uh, the end of February. So at that point, it'll be ready to publish, and so it'll pretty much be um, as long as it takes to get it onto Amazon at that point. I've already got the artwork for it, and I'm very excited about it, and I hope it's something that uh, a lot of you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, it will be available, and you'll know about it on here as soon as it is. The title of the novel is Why Does the Heathen Rage? And it's set in the Kingdom of Jerusalem fairly early uh, in its history. It uh, opens up in 1123 with the capture of King Baldwin II by the Turkish Emir Balak in the county of Edessa. And it uh, takes us through a lot of the events of his captivity. Uh, it goes through the Siege of Tyre in 1124, climaxes around the time of the Battle of Azaz in 1125. The focal characters are Baldwin II of Jerusalem, the King of Jerusalem, his daughter, Princess Melisende, who would later become Queen of Jerusalem, but in this novel she is still a princess. Also, uh, Balak, the Turkish emir, who was a serious opponent of the Crusaders at this time, is an important character, as well as Count Jocelyn I of Edessa. Baldwin II's sister, Cecilia, is an important character in this novel, as well as um, Count Pons of Tripoli, Varmund, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, uh, plays a very important role, uh, and also Usama ibn Munkid, who is famous for having written uh, his memoirs about life in Syria in the early to mid-12th century. Uh, he's an important character in this novel as well. So there's a lot of actual historical figures who I'm really delving into and trying to bring to life in this novel. It's a heavily researched novel. I used, um, for my sources, I used both primary and secondary scholarly sources. I used Full Care of Chart. I used um, William of Tyre. I used uh, Ibn al Kalanisi, uh, Ibn al Athir, and also, of course, Usama Ibn Munkid. What I really try to do with this book is get into the visceral feeling of this conflict between Christendom and Islam set in this very specific region with Jerusalem as this emotional focal point. At this period, of course, the Kingdom of Jerusalem still had Jerusalem under its control. Uh, there was a strong desire among some Muslims to get it back. And um, I really tried to get into the heads and hearts of the Christians and Muslims involved in this story and I really portray them fairly. I, I tried not to demonize either side. I tried to really show the authentic humanity of, of what it must have felt like for them. You know, as, as good as we can imagine it. But I really strove to stay close to the actual history. Um, there are a few dramatic liberties taken, of course, but they are minimal. This is a period of Crusader history that I really love. The 1120s are really interesting. This was a time when the kingdom of Jerusalem uh, was very strong and uh, very virile. Uh, its Muslim opponents were also very strong. The clash was intense. There was a lot of intense fighting at this time and a lot of valiant and very capable warriors involved. Once I get the novel back from my editor this month, I will most likely publish a little snippet to kind of give you guys a preview. And then it shouldn't be too long after that that it will be up and available for sale. The images you are seeing in this video are uh, some artwork I had done for the novel. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited about this book. I hope it's something that a lot of you are gonna enjoy and get excited about. So look for it coming soon. Why Does the Heathen Rage by J. Stephen Roberts.